this. Hundreds of videos not released, early access, join the Patreon, Myth Vision. I final question, and I'm gonna let you I I, I have to let you go because you have an appointment. We talked about this before the show. So thank you so much by by this far. Like Dr. Airman, this has really been wonderful interviewing you and having the opportunity. So you writing about forgeries, one of the funniest things you said in your forgery counter forgery book that just I couldn't help but laugh because I this was everything to me. This is like life, everything you to you is James is our pseudo james is arguing against paul in ephesians and neither one of them are really james or paul yeah Yeah. that is so hilarious to me that these authors aren't really who they are you know oh well yeah it's kind of even more interesting than than that in some ways because you know it was uh james and paul have always since the reformation since martin luther it's been thought that james uh, is opposed to paul um that the historical James, the brother of Jesus, was opposed to Paul. And there's very good reason for thinking that James did not write the letter of James. That I mean, somebody named James wrote it, but not the brother of Jesus, for reasons I map out at good length in, in my books. But the interesting thing is um, that they're, I don't think they're contradictory. And you, would, you, you probably would expect fundamentalists or evangelicals to think that I think that Paul and James are contradictory. I don't. Because I think that James, who is not the brother of Jesus, is actually conflicting with an interpretation of Paul that Paul himself did not have. Hmm. He's con- he's what he's contradicting is the understanding of Paul that you find in books like Ephesians that Paul did not write, and so he's attacking a a view of Paul that Paul would not have recognized. Paul did not think that you were going to be saved without living an ethical life. But you weren't going to be you you weren't going to be saved by living an ethical life. But if you are a follower of Jesus, of course you're going to live an ethical life. For Paul, James is attacking people who say it doesn't matter what you do. For Paul, Paul's letters, a third of each of his letters is telling people what they have to do. <laughs> so he, he really thinks it matters what you do. Uh, and so James is attacking someone else, and it's not Paul. <laughs> so yeah.